everybody. Uh, welcome back. Um, today I just want to share um, my latest journal that I've made. Um, I'm going to have to do um, in the description box the places on Etsy where I've got my digital downloads. Some of them are just off of the internet and Pinterest, but there are some um, sellers on Etsy that I want to recognize. Um, it's a soft cover journal. And it measures about five and a half by eight and a half. So it's a big journal for my standard because I normally work in the small ones. But um, I'm really happy with how this has come out. Now this, <clears throat> the flowers I've bought from a, a lady on Etsy, and I'll, I'll put her link below as well. She's... Um, overseas but wow when they came in I was really happy with with those handmade flowers that she does but here's the uh, the cover I've done a lot of <clears throat> layering with this it's got the, um, the the basis card stock then I've got digital image over that um, some vintage lace then I've taken um, sewing pattern paper and then another image and then the flower. <clears throat> it's just been closed with um, this is some old vintage uh, seam binding and then here is the back. It's um, sewn in with a three hole pamphlet stitch and it's pretty chunky as you can see. Uh, I kept adding and adding and it, it's just it got bigger and bigger. So we'll go inside so you can see what's what's in it. It's got a lot of ephemera. This one I've just filled up. So here, you know, in the front, I've... Um, oh, yeah, I meant to say it's it's got machine stitching throughout the journal. Um, you know I like that, and I've left a lot of the threads so it looks even more vintage. So on the front, um, I've got some ephemera. So you can do some journaling inside there. This is a time um, time card, and then I've printed out an image on top of that, and then cut it out as a tag. And then got a pocket there. I'll try not to take too long because there's a lot to go through here. <clears throat> this pocket, I've done some stitching, and. Um, Got a little inventory tag there, and this is a um, Tim Holtz photo card, and some um, vintage ribbon. Oops. And then this page, oh, and all of the papers are um, coffee dyed in this, and this one I've just made a little <coughs> flip up. So you can do some writing and, and keep it secret. And there's a doily. I've made a um, handmade paper clip. And these paper clips are the rose gold um, paper clips. And this paper um, I got from, I don't know, the Dollar Tree has got some of these little composition books now. And I'm trying to think what size. They must be about a five by seven. So I took the papers, I just took it apart and then I coffee dyed all of the papers and that's what this is. So, And this is um, one of the envelopes. <clears throat> I used to have these listed in my shop but I'll have to put those back in there so I've still got some of those I can sell. And they got a nice vintage image on that. I'll show you up close. Oh, sorry about that. And then inside this, I've just made a little, um, I think this was a Seven Gypsies uh, journaling card. I picked that up from um, Tuesday morning. So I've just added these uh, tabs to it. And I had to trim it down a bit so it would fit into this envelope. So that slides back in there. 
And then on this side, I've made a little pocket here, and inside we've got lots of little journaling cards. And over here I've made a little um, tuck spot with some buttons and some, uh, some ribbon. And I've added another little journaling tag here. Now this is vintage uh, music sheet. And on this page I've taken one of my wax paper pockets. I've got a tutorial on how to make those. They're, they're probably the quickest um, that I've seen. <laughs> so I'll put that link below if you're interested in learning how to make these. They're so easy. Um, and inside that I've, I've put a um, little shaker. And this has been made with the um, tool and stitching and I've got some little um, seed beads in there and a little key and then this tag I have decoupaged and stamped and then aged it and this is just a um, glassine bag I've printed this out um, that was a tsunami rose image so I've, I've not put anything in this, so you, you've got your own little space because everything, it's very full. I want, wanted to leave that so you could put your own things in. Um, this page, I've made some little pockets. Now this is some vintage um, lace that I, I have in my stash. And I've made a couple little pockets out of these with more little tags and journaling places. These images are beautiful. I've really enjoyed um, working on these. I'll show you a close-up of these little pockets. They're collaged digital images. And I just recently got these. I love that. Love that shop. I'll put them below. And this page, um, this is a Anna Griffin um, pocket. Love those. Uh, got that over Christmas, so I've been thrilled um, to be able to use those. And you can see the coffee dye papers. And then some more little um, journaling cards. And another of the Tim Holtz um, photo card. And this is another tag that I've stamped, decoupaged, um, no, I didn't decoupage this, sorry. This is just some um, scrap papers I had left over. And then I went back and embossed it. And this is some uh, Tim Holtz vellum paper. I love this paper. I'm not able to find it anymore, so I don't know if they've discontinued it or not, but I love that so beautiful. And this page, um, this, I don't know, I just come up with this idea that I wanted to have some handmade envelopes but have them bundled up like this, like they're little love letters that somebody's saving. And all of these, now that, I'm not going to take them all out, but I'll show you these just open up and you can do some journaling in them. This is an envelope, so you, you'd you have to use it as that. But the bottom one opens up like this as well. Like I said, I won't take those out. But they are all to be used and then tucked back in. I just I love that. And this was a um, paper clip. I've, I've found that at the Dollar Tree. They've come in with the... Um, the rose gold paper clips at the moment, so I found that one and I really like that. So that's holding that place. I've got some ribbon here, and this is really nice, sturdy um, paper. It's double sided, so. And this page, I've got another little pocket here um, with just another little journaling card tucked in there, and this one, 
I've just put a little paper clip and then a little tag and another little file folder for journaling on. And those are pinned to a, a glassing bag. So you've got another little place you can put some things in. And this page, I've just, uh, this is not a pocket. This is just a little place to hold this tag. This one's been inked and decoupaged as well. And um, that way you you got some writing space here. And on this one I've just included this so you can do some more journaling. And there's tracing paper in here. Uh -oh. And this one I've just got a little <clears throat> another little envelope <clears throat> that opens up. You could glue this if you want to just use it as an envelope, but I left it open so if you did want to journal, you could do. And this is the center of the signature. Um, look at that. that um, this batch of coffee dye really came out nice. I'm pleased with it. It's got a wonderful scent to it. <laughs> this just I've attached some some ribbon there. And this page, uh, this is one of my flip downs. I've got a tutorial for this if you're interested in they're super easy to make. So that's and that's a vintage button I've stitched on that and then I've just covered it up with another little um this is a little embosslet some um, Sweet Buttons. Um, Stampin' Up! used to do this. It's retired now, but I've, it cuts it and embosses at the same time, so it, it looks like a button, and it's got the embossed raised image as well, so I put that on there to cover up where it had sewn through. I thought that was pretty. I left this open thinking you could make some notes, or if you wanted to add another little pocket, you could. Here's another sheet of that tracing paper. And this one is some grid paper that I have, um, I'm sorry, that's stuck. I've put a glassine, I've attached a glassine bag onto, and this is a hand-stamped journal card. Um, and then I've just layered over the glassine bag, so you've got another little tuck spot here for, for some more ephemera. And then I've just put some more ribbon here and left you room for doing a bit more journaling. And here's a glassing bag with another little place for you to do some journaling. I love these. I, I, this this girl's got a, she's got some beautiful things in her shop. I I've bought a lot off of her, and I will include her below as well. Okay, and then this page, what I've done here is I've just clipped this little bag. I've just folded that so you can put some things in there. And I've layered some lace and various papers and images. And then I attached another little um, envelope. As a, as a pocket there. So that, I just attached that over that and held it in place with a paper clip. And then on this side, I've got this little time for tea envelope there. There's more. The other side of that, Tim Holtz, vellum paper. I love the feel of that. This page, I've uh, made a pocket here and made a, oh sorry, <laughs> I thought that was loose, but it's not. I forgot I had layered this on the card itself, and this has got some eyelash trim and some seam binding. 
And here's another little journaling card. And on this page I've got some little handmade tickets that I've stamped and cut out. Um, that was a Stampin' Up uh, punch and, and set. It's retired now. And these are some journaling cards. And this is the um, glassing bag that I had printed in the printer. Um, and this is a little pocket, so you can put you can put some things in there as well. And everybody's probably seen these. These are from Sewell, and Shop. I think these are so cute. And I've just attached it with this little um, hanger paper clip there. Again, this is vintage sheet music page. Uh, Anyways, this is the back of that um, envelope, and I was going to glue it down, but I thought, actually, I kind of like that. It's, it serves as a nice little flap. If you wanted to add something to it, you could, but uh, I've just left that loose for you to, you could do some journaling, or like I said, attach a photo or something. Um, and this one I have made... I've just cut out some little tags. Aren't these beautiful? I think this is oh, just such a fabulous kit. I, I love it. So that's that's just been attached there so you can more journaling. You can move that anywhere that you want. Use it in another project. There's so much in this journal that you could easily you know, take from it and put in other journals that you've got. There's that doily, and here is another, this is a big pocket I've made because I thought it would be nice to have a nice big pocket where you could tuck some things. And that's a Tsunami Rose design. This page I've just left blank. Put some, uh, some ribbon here, but that way you've got plenty of room for journaling. And this is the back of the journal. Another, um handmade tag that I've uh, cut out and embossed and then this is the little ephemera this is um, opens up so you can do lots of uh, little notes <coughs> so there you have it it's a, a, a nice big chunky journal and it, it is beautiful. I'm really really happy with how it's come out. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, if you if you do like my videos I hope that you will um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and leave me a comment. It's nice to hear from from my subscribers um, and like I said this this journal is going to be up for sale in my Etsy shop very soon. Um, in fact by the time this video goes up it will be for sale so if you're interested in purchasing it I'll leave the link below but I do hope you guys have a great uh, day and um, I look forward to seeing you again soon take care bye